Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. As a tech savvy audience, you probably already know that your experience when you browse the web is going to be different from mine and different from everyone else's. So when someone browses the web, they have their own personal digital fingerprint and it alters what you actually see. So things like cookies, pixels, tracking, geolocation, where you're logging in from, what kind of device, all of these things can change your browsing experience. There's a few tools, like privacy browsers and VPNs, that can help with this. But the tool that I want to show you today, GoLogin, bundles a number of these different things together. So it's not just a browser, it's a powerful anti-detection tool. If you're a digital marketer, a researcher, or someone that values their privacy, GoLogin is going to be really valuable. It effortlessly lets you switch between multiple accounts. So if you are a social media marketer, or a manager, and you're managing different client accounts, it very easily lets you jump between them. It protects your online identity as you browse, and lets you browse the web without the experience being warped or influenced by things like tracking and cookies. So as I mentioned before, digital and social media marketers are really going to love this. Anyone that wants to be able to do things like review adverts, check prices, research, web scrape, really do anything online, where you want to get a more neutral experience, or you want to be able to work with multiple accounts, this is going to be a great tool. So we can see here on their website, they've got a number of different use cases, a couple that I've already mentioned, really just being able to control their browsing experience. Jumping to the main page, we can scroll down and we can see them talking about the separated profiles, the fingerprint management, the different ways in which you have that digital fingerprint, and then surfing anonymously. So let's take a look at this browser. When we download it, it's a relatively small download, nice and easy to install. And when we start it up, we start off on a page that looks like this, and we can have a number of different sites. Within that site, we can actually have different profiles so for something like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, something where you might be doing social media marketing, we'd see that repeated. So we'd have LinkedIn, and then the name of the first account, second account, third account, and so on. We've got a button that will actually bring up our browser and run that particular instance. We can see here I've got Google running, and we'll have a look at that in just a second. And we've also got the ability to be able to add proxies. To, so we can see here we've got a couple of uh, different locations that we're running proxies from. And we've got a notes section. And again, for the uh, digital and social media marketers, we might have a whole page of a whole lot of X, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the different sites. You'll be able to put some notes in there reminding yourself of who the client is and information like that. So the browser itself is the Orbiter browser. And you can see here, I've just brought up Google, and it's going to look very, very familiar to you. It's very much a Chrome-style interface. Uh, we can see that I haven't actually logged in, so we can then add details here in the browser. We've got the usual stuff, passwords, history, downloads, extensions, all there, all very familiar, all built on a platform that is very, very similar looking to Chrome. So the actual browsing experience is going to be very, very similar for you, other than the fact that you can control with those proxies where it's detecting you from. You can see here with this one, I haven't run any proxies, so we've just got Australia sitting there, and we'll be able to sign in and work with whatever searches we want to do. When I want to go to a different account, particularly with one of these other things like Facebook or LinkedIn, where I might have the multiples, just come down to the one that I want, hit run, will pop up a new Orbiter browser, and off I go. So this is GoLogin. It's an anti-detection privacy browser. And if you follow my link, you'll be able to get a seven-day trial, test it out before you need to pay. Those of you that are using the internet and browsing different accounts for commercial reasons, I think it's going to be well worth it. We can see that actually pricing not too bad there. They really are setting up, I think, for a lot of people, freelancers and so on. 100 profiles is going to be a ton and then it even extends up into enterprise if you are running a slightly bigger agency.
So gologan.com, but if you use my link there in the video description, you'll be able to get the seven day trial. Also helps support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on stats, AI research and random stuff.